Hello YouTube friends, this is Major with Major Honey. Welcome to the channel and thanks for watching. I am uh, doing my weekly inspection at my other yard. I'm going to see uh, what kind of hunting we got and see um, what I need to do for uh, if I need to add any boxes or pull any honey or anything like that or just give me an idea when I'll uh, need to pull honey. So we're going to get started. Looking for magic. They look good in the top box here. You see how we pretty much have bees on both sides of the frames. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice in this yard, all of them, all of my hives are five frame, with the exception of one. I've got one eight, eight frame double. And I prefer running these fives a lot here. And plus, these were, majority of these were splits that I done this year. So, I just keep adding boxes. So, we have a lot of brood here. So yeah, you see the the brood and then there's some young larvae right there in that outer edge. Same with this frame. And they're uh, they're back filling some of it with with nectar after the brood hatches, so Wow, look at there. Now, <clears throat> that's a full frame of cat brood right there, buddy. All the way across. Same on this frame on the other side of it. Now, what do you guys think? You think we're going to have a lot of bees here in the 
<laughs> Another week or so, what do you think? I think we are. And... We've got more brood here. And brood and larvae on this side. So I am going to have to add a box to this right here. If I don't add a box when all these bees hatch, they will be super crowded. They're already pretty crowded. Same scenario on that frame. And the other frame. Wow, okay. So, I'm gonna have to add a box to this guy. They're raising bees so hard, there's not gonna be any honey to harvest right now. fine. We want bees. We want a strong hive. And this is definitely going to be a strong hive. Or it is a strong hive, I should say. Now this was my first round of splits that I've done this year. So... sort of gives you an idea of what you can expect using a five frame box when you do a split in a five frame and keep it in there you can go back and check the dates on when I did my splits and the updates as they went and uh, you'll get an idea of your time frame this is uh, I'm guessing roughly a couple months old Something like that to see. Maybe three months. Something like that. I'd have to go back and look at my notes. But, uh, we're going to move on to another one. And I'll have to put a box on this one later. And what I will do, I will pull two or three frames, <clears throat> two of those, two or three of those frames with the cap root on them. I'll pull them up into the third box, and when they hatch out, they'll backfill it with honey. So I'm gonna move on to our other guy, other box here, right inside of it, and. This is the good thing about, you know, I've mentioned before about, you know, you can have hives on the same stand side by side and they're com completely different as far as how, how they're building, all right? Now, you can already see there's not as many bees pulled up, up in the top box of this one as there was the other one. They still got a frame here on the end that it looks like they're working on pulling out. Well. So we'll pull this frame out here on the end. It doesn't have a lot of bees on it. We'll see what they're doing on it. Yeah, see, they're, they're putting honey in that, so... She's not got anywhere to lay. 
up here. This is all honey here, and they've got the top couple three inches capped already. She's got a few eggs in that one side. And the other side, there's some eggs that she's tried to get in there, but they have, they have a lot of honey on it. Well, okay. Well, this whole frame here is capped, brood. both sides and so they're not far behind the other box I'm trying to sting my camera Capping halfway down on that, on this frame. And it's full of eggs on this side. You can see them. Alright, I got a little, just a. Gosh, they might be a week behind the other one. But that was a whole frame of eggs. Frame's got larvae in it. So. That'll give me a little bit of time to prepare for this one. But they're still building up strong. A little cranky though. Still a little early and Now I leave the feeders on year round because it it gives them some uh, allows them some ventilation that they can pull air through there. And if you have any condensation on your top cover during the winter time, it'll just drip down into the feeder and it won't drip down on the bees. So I leave it on year round. This one looks similar to the one beside of it. Looks like they're pulling this out for honey. Oh yeah, pretty amber looking color. So this frame I'll uh, I'll harvest in another week or so.
This frame's full of larva. I see some eggs on it, so it's okay. Uh, good to go there. Still got some cat brood here to hatch out on this side and the other side here. In the next frame, looks like it has a lot of brood on it as well. Yep. yep. Both sides. Pretty much everybody needs a box. <laughs> needs another box on. So I'll go three high on all these. Warning, I expect all of them is probably going to be very similar. Now these were all queens from my stock. Not that I raise, I raise queens, I really don't, I let the bees raise their own. But these are splits that I made with the, with the eggs from my queens and they do, they do very well as you can see. So, and I know a lot of, there's a lot of people that buy queens and do their splits and add queens and that gives you a head start but if you've got a pretty good strain of uh, bee then make your own takes a little bit more time but didn't cost you anything other than time and some feed you know This one's very, like I figured, they're all pretty well in the same shape. Now, the reason I, and I used, I use eight frames, like the eight frame that's here, it was a wintered three stack five frame that I overwintered and so when we and they were really booming in February or so and I just moved them to an eight frame because I do eight frame to be able to use medium supers because I do a little cold honey all right so we're in the outside frame and there's brood on so they're uh, just like I thought they're in the same boat I see young larva on here as well that she's laid back in the the ones that have hatched. Now, 
if I don't get a box on here soon, they might consider making some swarm sales. this cup here on the center but uh, there's not anything in it give one more look here in the, the center of the chamber here see where they're at. Still some more brood here. Almost every frame in the second box has got brood in it. Side frame here they just barely this frame over here they're just barely started pulling it out so I'm probably I won't put a box on this one yet I'm gonna give them time to I want them to have all the frames pulled out before I put another box on them have three on this one so I'm gonna see what they're what they got going on here This is the third box and you can see there's quite a few bees up here. We'll pull a couple of frames out here and see. Uh, usually when you go to your third box like that that's usually where you where you end up pulling your your honey from because uh, when I add a box I usually take brood and move it up and when it hatches they normally backfill it with honey which that's what they're doing on this uh, frame here they're backfilling it with honey after after they hatch out.
Yeah. Same thing here. You can see the discoloration in the cone, and that's where they, had, they were brewed and it's hatched. And now they're putting honey in there. Yeah, this frame's full of honey as well. It looks like pretty much every frame up here they're doing in the honey. Yes. So all these are, these here were new frames, new foundation. So they're pulling it out and putting honey in it. So yay. That's good. That's what we want to see. So that'll that'll give me another week or so on this box, and then I will pull the cap tunny out, give them new frames to use, and we'll be good to go. This was a split that uh, I did last time I was in the yard here a week ago, seven days, seven, eight days ago. And uh, I'm going to take a quick look at it. And uh, it had queen cells on it from one of my other boxes here in the yard. And uh, so I just put it in here. And they had just barely started a queen cell when I've done that so Did you look how big that queen cell is <laughs> they got two of them there and I'm gonna leave them and then natural selection will take care of it but that is a huge queen cell it's probably one of the bigger ones I've seen how long it is I just wanted to show you that in this one. Sorry about the video, the camera deal. I'm having to one-hand it on this bench. I don't really have anything to set it on. And they got some brood that still needs to hatch here on this frame you know it's got a couple queen cells there but those don't look right to me I don't like the way they look they're uh, not as big as I think they should be But I'm gonna let it roll and let them let the bees do their thing. Now those two queen cells are ahead of the other two on the other frame. So more than likely they'll hatch first and then they'll sing the other ones. So. And they're working just putting away a little honey so this frame's about full honey of course it had some it had quite a bit of honey in it when I put it in here with them just so they would just so they would have plenty of food another queen cell here so they've got multiple chances to get a queen so 
just let them do their thing. And glad you stopped by to watch our videos. Like, subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.